is uh, make a couple of summery kind of ornaments that you can either hang in your house by your window side or you can also attach them to breads. To make the bee, this can be either a wood composite or a plaster mold works great for this. And we have some black dough and we have a combination of our yellow turmeric and also the dark chili dough. We're gonna start with the bee first. To get the bee, what I do is just put a little bit of flour on your surface, take a little bit of your black dough and make a ball with it. What you're trying to do is get no seams like this on the top surface. Make sure that you cover it with a little bit of flour and then press it into your mold. Once you've got the impression, you peel it off. Then you have your B, and then we use an oversized cutter to cut around it. Turmeric, chili, and turmeric. And what I would recommend is just press this flat a little bit, lay the two layers on top of each other, lay the third layer making a sandwich, and pressing it flat. And next, either with a rolling pin or a sheeter, you're going to sheet this into a flatter piece. And the next thing what we do is we take all this dough and we roll it up. And then we're going to cut it with a knife. Exposing these spiral-like patterns. Then you push them together. And now what we're going to do is fold it on top of each other so that I can use both my top and my bottom piece. Next, what we do is we take this little flower cutter and cut out two components. They're going to be placed on top of each other like this. Next, we cut a hole into the center. And we place this on top of the bee. And with this little marzipan tool, we're just going to attach the outer edge to the center component. Plus it gives it a nice little surface area that looks very ornamental. And then to bring it all together, I'm just going to take the top layer and pinch them just a little bit. And the last thing, if you want to hang this thing, this would also be a nice little gift. You just take a pastry tip and you cut a hole into the top, which I'm going to put the string through at the end after it's baked. So with the leftover dough that we just had from the bee hanger, well, I'm just going to basically roll this together. Knead it together a little bit. And then I'm going to, with my knife, just cut sections of it off. I'm going to take this and again, work a round ball from it. take this cutter right here and again like we did in the previous one with a little flour cover the top surface it also helps if you protect your fingers so it doesn't stick your fingers don't stick to the dough when you're pushing down on it and you're going to lay it on top and press this into the bottom surface flip it over again and then you might have to release it from all the edges so you don't pull or distort the image. Oops. Next thing I do is I cut around the outside so I have a nice clean edge to it. With the flower cutter, I cut out two shapes.
Then what I do is I cover the top with plastic and using a little daisy cutter, cutting through the center, through the plastic. This again makes me not have to clean the cutters every time I do it. And it should remove the center. Next, I stack the two so that the outer patterns are offset. And I bring these and place it on top of my base. And now what I do is I just peel these top layers out, exposing the center. and slightly compress the outer edge, making sure it sticks all together. And for this one, I would recommend letting it dry for quite a long time. That way, these little tips won't fall down during the baking process. And I do the same thing again with the top layer. I pinch the little wings. And then always don't forget to cut a hole so that you can hang this thing 